adventure in the wild, vast reaches of space. Missions of daring in the name of interplanetary justice. Travel into the future with Buzz Corey, Commander-in-Chief of... The Space Patrol! Brought to you by the Checkerboard Super Cereals. Wheat Checks, Rice Checks, and Good Hot Ralston. Commander Corey. Yes. Is your cadet handling your battle cruiser all by himself? Yes, we haven't got time to stop and chat now. Oh, yes, we do. You're going to have plenty of time to chat. Stand by for exciting action on Space Patrol in just one moment. Last time today for Space Binoculars. Last time today for Space Binoculars. Yes, sir, gang. Today's the last time we can offer you these wonderful new official Space Patrol space binoculars. Man, oh man, they're terrific. Just listen to what this boy had to say when he got his space binoculars. Wow, we! Buzz Corey was right. These aren't flimsy little goggles. These are great big binoculars. Gosh, look at that shine. Let's see now. The commander said you just slip them over your head, like this, and you're all set. Boy, they fit swell. And now, now I can see what's going on way, way off in the distance. Jumping Jupiter. I can read that sign way over there. I never could before. And boy, oh boy, I can look right in Johnny's house. He's eating his breakfast. And wow, I can see the cars so close up on Fifth Street. And I can even tell what kind they are. And there's a bird up in the top branches of that tree. And there's a squirrel up there, too. Say... I'm going to have lots of fun with you, Space Binoculars. Why, you're just like a pair of magic eyes. You make everything in the distance look a lot larger and clearer, just like it was real close to me. Be sure to get a pair, gang. They're terrific. But remember, today is the last time we can make this offer. So, to get these, get this. Instant Ralston. Then, with your name and address, send 25 cents in coin and an Instant Ralston box top to Space Patrol. Box 812, St. Louis, Missouri. This offer good only in the USA and may be withdrawn at any time. That's Space Patrol. Box 812, St. Louis, Missouri. Between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter lies the asteroid belt a mass of numerous, small, irregularly shaped bodies describing an elliptical orbit around the sun. Because the asteroid belt poses the threat of collision to any spaceship venturing within its bounds, all interplanetary travel is routed around the belt in a safer, though considerably longer course between Mars and Jupiter. However, making its way through the treacherous field of rocks is a private space car chartered for an illegal flight from Mars to Jupiter. inefficiency has cost the Henderson Company over a half million credits in the last quarter alone. Pilot, can't you get any more speed out of this ship? Therefore, sales must be stepped up, or there'll be some drastic changes made. Here, take this thing. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, shall I file this tape with the others for the meeting, sir? Naturally, naturally. Uh, yes, sir, Mr. Henderson. What's the matter with you, pilot? Why are we going so slow? Because we're flying through the asteroid belt, Mr. Henderson. Don't tell me something I already know. Why do you think I paid you an extra thousand credits? Take the shortcut through the belt, Mr. Henderson. Exactly. Lowell, tell Mr. Mallon what I expect when I spend good money for something. Uh, what you always say, Mr. Henderson. Service is rendered for money expended. In other words, Mr. Mallon, don't expect to get paid if you cause me to be late for my meeting on Jupiter. We'll be late for more than a meeting if we get hit. What are you mumbling about? I don't like people who mumble. Speak up, Mr. Mallon. If you have anything to say, say it. 
You know what a meteoric cloud is, Mr. Henderson? Naturally, naturally. Everyone does. Well, there are lots of them in the uh, asteroid belt. Big chunks of rock, collections of debris. Very dangerous to fly through. Don't borrow trouble, Mr. Mava. We won't worry about a meteoric cloud until we see one. Let's start worrying, mister, because we've been in the middle of one for the last five minutes. I knew we shouldn't come this way. It was too dangerous. Shut up. What happened? What hit us? What do you think hit us? A chunk of asteroid. You fluttering fool. I'm paying you a good price to get me to Jupiter. And if you don't get me there on time, I'll see that you lose your license. I have influence. Don't have any influence on this ship. Not anymore. What do you mean? Don't worry about me paying for this because you've got to start worrying about collecting. Just worry about whether any of us are going to get out of this alive. What did you say? Use your influence now, Mr. Henderson. See if you can arrange for some ship to pick up our distress signal. Oh, we've still got enough air. <laughs> Central Communications Terra calling Space Patrol flagship Terra 5. Central Communications Terra calling Space Patrol flagship Terra 5. Cadet Happy aboard Terra 5. Go ahead, Central Communications Terra. Happy, this is Tonga. We just picked up an emergency distress signal, and according to SOP, the commander is supposed to be notified right away. Right, Tonga. I'll take it down. Do you have a triangulation report on the signal yet? Yes, I'll read it to you. Mars, Jupiter, orbit, fourth quadrant. Mars, Jupiter, orbit, fourth quadrant. Vector 017 degrees, 12 degrees high. Vector 017 degrees, 12 degrees high. Got it. Have you picked up any direct communications? No, but we're sending them a constant signal. But here's something else you better tell the commander. Go ahead. According to our electronic plotter, the distress signal is coming from the middle of the asteroid belt. Tonga, what's the nearest patrol unit to the area? Mars Unit 81, Commander. They're over 70,000 EUs away. Right. Smoke and rockets, Commander. How could a ship get in the middle of the asteroid belt? <laughs> Anybody would fly in there or to have their head examined. Tell Tonga to have all units disregard distress signal. Yes, sir. You mean we're going to go in there? We're closer than Unit 81. Don't worry. We can have our heads examined later. longer do we have to wait in this tub? Until some rescue ship picks up our distress signal. Then why don't they do it? That's what the space patrol's getting paid for. I understand the space patrol is very efficient in these matters. And you're being paid to keep your mouth shut. What do you know about it anyway? <laughs> Nothing, Mr. Henderson. Nothing at all, sir. Go back there and get me a drink of water. Make yourself useful. Uh, yes. And you, see what you can do about speeding things up. Get on that space patrol. Get a little action here. No, if you weren't so busy being a big shot, you'd realize we didn't have any power. Just the emergency battery pack for our distress signal, that's all. I promise you, Malin, this impudence will cost you your license. <laughs> what license? When the space patrol finds out I flew passengers into a restricted area, I'm not going to have any license anyway. That'll serve you right. The water. Oh, you stupid, clumsy fool! Sorry, sir. You better simmer down, big shot. Save your energy while you can. What do you mean, while I can? Well, take a look at this. It's a bottle of oxygen. It's what we're breathing now. After this one's gone, there isn't any more. Space car ahead, Commander. About five degrees start. There's no power, but it doesn't seem to be too badly damaged. Good. We'll pull in right over them. 
Put magnetic coupling on standby. Right. Coupling on standby, sir. Direct me in. Right. One half DU. Stand by. Cut rockets. Lower the coupling, Happy. I'll go aboard. Yes, sir. Going to be rescued. I have eyes. It's about time they got here. The idea. The space patrol endangering our lives in this way. I get to Jupiter, the first thing I'm going to do is have the Space Patrol investigate it. Why don't you shut up? Everyone all right in here? No thanks to you. What took you so long getting here? You the pilot? Yeah, I'm the pilot. You understand, of course, you'll be held to answer for bringing passengers into this area. Yeah, I know. Cadet Happy calling Commander Corey. Commander? Yes, Happy. Commander, we'd better hurry. This stuff is getting thicker than the tail of a comet. Some of those pieces are coming too close. Right, Ham. Okay, one at a time. Up through the magnetic coupling as fast as you can. Oh, Commander Corey. Yes. Is your cadet handling your battle cruiser all by himself? Yes. We haven't got time to stop and chat now. Oh, yes, we have. You're going to have lots of time to chat. I can't say very much for the company, though. What's the meaning of this? All right, stand over there, all of you. Your miniature space phone, Commander. Cadet Happy, this is Mallon, pilot of the ship. Commander Corey wants you to come aboard immediately. You get the picture, Corey? Yes, Mallon, I get the picture. Corey, do something. It's your duty to protect us from this... this. I got here as soon as I could, Commander. Uh-oh. Madeline thinks he's going to abandon all of us on this derelict, Happy. That's right. This way, there won't be any witnesses. I keep my license and stay in business. Now, wait a minute, Madeline. Don't do anything too hasty. You don't want to leave me here because I can pay you. Take me with you. I'll make you rich. Don't leave me here. Oh, out of my way, big shot. I'm leaving. before, one at a time, up to the magnetic coupling. I'll go first. Out of my way. Rockets, Commander. A big boulder just knocked our magnetic coupling loose. Our ship's drifting away. Hi, gang. Know what I've been looking at through my space binoculars? See if you can guess. I'm looking at two official Space Patrol items, and they're both bite size. Have you guessed what they are? Well, here's another hint. They help to supercharge you. Now I know you guessed the answer. Take a look with me. I'm looking at the super cereals, wheat checks and rice checks. Only cereals in the universe with that modern bite size design. And boy, they're the swellest tasting cereals in the universe, too. Try them today. The super cereals that help to supercharge you. Wheat checks, 
Rice checks. Here's something else super, too. Tell you how to get a pair at the end of today's program. Space Patrol Space Binoculars. And now back to Space Patrol. There's only one space suit aboard, and that's it. There's another thing Madeline will have to answer for. It's going to be awful dangerous out there with nothing but a spacesuit to protect you against that debris. That's the only way we can get our ship back. Are you sure you won't let me go instead, sir? Oh, you'll have your work cut out for you here. It'll be up to you to ration the oxygen. There's only about 15 minutes left. Make it last. Keep your gun handy. You might need it. Ned Happy's in charge now. He knows what to do. Remember, your one chance of survival is to follow his orders. Stuffy in here already. Could that? Yeah? Turn up the oxygen a little higher. Sorry, stays like it is. I can't breathe this way. You can't waste it. it has to last. This is my ship. It's my oxygen. Your ship and everything aboard is in the custody of the Space Patrol. So just settle back and relax. We've got a long wait ahead of us. This isn't my oxygen. It's mine! <laughs> Thanks to him, we just wasted about five minutes worth of oxygen. We'll take it easy. You better stay where you are. I just wanted to talk to you. Save your strength. There's nothing to talk about. I have money. Lots of money. Forget it. Just one deep breath of pure oxygen. That's all I want. I'll pay you. You better save your money for your old age. I'll make you rich. 50,000 credits. Just for you, cadet. Think of it. 50,000 credits. It won't work. 100,000. Nothing to worry about the rest of your life. Think, cadet. I am thinking. 100,000 credits. Think of it. You wouldn't like what I'm thinking. Now get this straight. This oxygen has to last all four of us until the commander gets back. And no one gets any more than the next man. Your money's no good here, Mr. Henderson, so... Just quit trying.
No. Put that gun down. By all of you, Sir Drum. You order me. That's all you've ever done. Is order me around. You treated me like an animal. You robbed me of my own self-respect. I'll make it up to you, Lowell. I'll give you anything you want. Drop the gun. Everything's all right now. No, it isn't. I shot them. What? I shot Henderson and the pilot. They were trying to steal my oxygen. I shot them. Give me the gun. No. No, I shot them. You're going to arrest me. I'll shoot you, too. You'll never get away with it. Any more than Milan did. I can fly a ship. I'll get away. You only got the strength. You're tired, Lord. Well, you're very weak. You could never climb all the way up to the other ship. You need some oxygen, Lowell. I have some here. Nice, cool oxygen. Give it to me. Sure. Breathe deeply, happy boy. Gotta hurry. Our luck can't last much longer. Security. This is Tonga. I still haven't heard a word from them since they went into the asteroid belt. Yes, I, I'm worried too. SES has reported several more big meteoric clouds in that area. Yes, I, I will. I'll try to reach them now. Federal communications from Terra 5. Commander, what happened? We were getting worried. We just cleared the asteroid belt. Are you and Happy all right? Yes, we're all right. Time's making our three passengers comfortable. Had to bring two of them to Medical Science Center. They got in the way of light paralyzer ray charges. Not too serious. I'll tell you all about it when we get back to Terra. Right, Commander. I'll notify security that you're safe. Thanks, Tonga. Corey out. Happy, is everything all right back there? Yes, sir. But Lowell is still telling off his boss, Mr. Henderson. Oh, what's Henderson doing? Oh, oh, he's not doing anything, Commander. He's still out from the ray gun blast and can't hear him. <laughs> he, Stand by for a preview of next week's exciting action immediately following this important message for all you space patrollers. The last time. The last time. The last time. Yes, sir, boys and girls, today is the last time we can offer you the greatest value in the history of space patrol. The last time we can offer you a pair of these terrific space patrol space binoculars. The last time we can tell you how much fun they are. The last time we can show you how they make everything in the distance look bigger, closer, clearer, 
Yes, this is the last time, gang, so be sure to send for your Space Patrol space binoculars today. Take a look with me through my space binoculars and you can see for yourself how much fun they are. You just slip them over your head like this and wear them. Now, here's the scene without space binoculars. Here it is with space binoculars. Without space binoculars. With space binoculars. Without space binoculars. With space binoculars. You see, boys and girls, space binoculars are lots of fun. The binoculars you get will be exactly like the ones I wear. Now, this is the biggest offer we've ever made on Space Patrol, and it's one item I want all of you to send for. So don't wait. Send for it now. This is the last time we can make this offer. To get a pair, buy a box of Instant Ralston. Then, with your name and address, send 25 cents in coin and an Instant Ralston box top to Space Patrol, Box 812, St. Louis, Missouri. If you don't agree that your binoculars are tops, return them. We'll return your money. That's Space Patrol, Box 812, St. Louis, Missouri. And now a scene from next week's exciting adventure, Survival in the Ice Desert. Smoke and rockets, Commander. I've never seen so much ice and snow, but I can see it down there, the Colfax Mining Settlement. Scan the area due south of it. Yes, sir. Yeah, there's a ship down there, all right. But, Commander... What's the matter? It's Major Robertson's ship, and it's on fire. Be sure to see the outcome of Buzz Corey's battle of wits with two criminals for survival in the ice desert next week on Space Patrol. Radio every Saturday. Consult your newspaper for time and station. And be sure to join us again when Space Patrol is brought to you on television by those bite-sized cereals in the red and white checkerboard packages. Wheat Checks, Rice Checks, and Good Hot Ralston. Preceding program, originally telecast by ABC in Hollywood, has come to you by special video recording. This is ABC, the American Broadcasting Company.